All right, YouTube, so welcome back to a brand new video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really nice uh, leaderboard UI design. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. And uh, yeah, it's not wasting any, any time. Um, I'm thinking of what information we would need to have on a leaderboard. I'm thinking, so the name, probably like a rank or level. So first of all, let's make a new layer. So right here, all right, um, let's go for our rounded rectangle tool right here. And the radius, I'm gonna try um, 35. That's gonna look weird, right? Yeah, I think that's a bit too much. Let's try 25. And let's just go right here at the top. Uh, actually, you could go lower if you want to. 15, maybe 15. Let's go right here. All right, we're gonna double click right here to change our to change our color. Go for a very light gray like this, and you can lower the opacity. It's like 95 or 90 because leaderboards typically have their opacity lowered, so you could kind of see through it. You know. <laughs> All right, so first of all, let's add our name. Uh, the font is going to be Montserrat. Right here, I'm gonna try semi bold like this. Let's type my name. Right here, let's just place it right here, okay? So we got this. Um, let's think, so we have a name. Let's drag a ruler. I think levels could go right there. So name goes here, All right? And let's copy the text and level goes here. So level five or something. So move right there. Let's make the text smaller so so it fits nice and easily like that. So what else is there? There's name. There is uh, there's a name. All right, if you really want to get creative, um, you can add an avatar, I think, with the ellipse tool, if you make a new layer. Let's make a little circle, and we can take our image, uh, clip it in to the ellipse. Let's see how this looks, all right? Let's move the name, and let's take this, group it up. Control G, Control T to scale, and let's just place it right here. If you really want to be fancy with it. So we can place the episodes here, and the names like this, like this right here. And then the level on the right side, so level 5. So that there we go. Let's drag out my ruler, make sure this is centered. Like this. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um let's see, let's see. Now I'm gonna group all these up. Let's make sure this this fits properly like that. Let's take our rectangle tool, new layer. Please. Let's drag out a nice thin line like this. All right, so right here, let's separate and make this 15, or let's go for 10 opacity. All right, perfect. So now we just copy and paste, leaderboard like that. And at the bottom, maybe you could add like a, I don't know, um, a button, maybe. I have no clue. Uh, I don't know, just put anything here. I'm just putting this here because I feel like there should be a button. I'm just not sure what, but I'm just gonna put invite here for some reason. Like that, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so yeah, there you go. We have a very clean 
leaderboard UI. Um, this was one of the most simple UIs, but it looks really nice as you can see. And uh, if we make a flat version, a condensed version, it's also very easy. You just control T, resize it, and it will only show your name. So condensed and expanded like that. And also for the expanded version um, to highlight who you are, I guess you could change the color of the text to like yellow. So it's gonna be you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very quick video. I mean, it looks nice, it's clean, it's simple. This is with the opacity up. If you are if you like this style more, but I would make this a bit lighter. It's like that, it looks pretty clean. All right, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little video. Um, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. Peace.